Okay, so I'm here in make.com. I'm gonna click on create a new scenario. And right here in the window, we see webhooks. I'm gonna choose custom webhook. Okay, so we need to add a new webhook or we could choose an existing one, but we're gonna add a new one for our demo purposes. So hit add and we'll just call this a YouTube demo webhook and hit save. Now that we hit save, you'll notice that it gave us this address. It gave us this URL. And so if we copy it to the clipboard and we go to a browser and access it, you'll see accepted. So now we know that the webhook is actually working and it's actually, if we hit run, you'll see the webhook is spinning. You see that, that circle there means it's, it's waiting for data. It's waiting for someone to call it or send it information. So now that we have our webhook set up, Let's hit stop. Let's go over to Airtable. So I'm gonna click on automations here and you'll see I have a couple of automations set up already. Basically, uh, this, auto this automation says ignore YouTube comment. Um, so that means when a certain button is clicked, it's gonna run this script. So what does the script look like? Well, if we go over here to the right and click on edit code, we can see the script. So what basically what this is doing is we're going to call this URL right here. And this URL uh, is another webhook uh, that I've already established. It's another URL like this one. And so the webhook is passing a, a variable called record ID, which we've established here on the left-hand side. You see we have name, record ID, and the value is Airtable record ID. So basically what that means is when we, uh, if we test this now, and if we go back to the data real quick, each one of these um, records in the table has an Airtable record ID. So it's gonna pass that to the webhook. And so if we go back to the script editor, and if, uh, if we were to uh, click the test button, what would happen is it would pass this record ID to this webhook. And this webhook would then display record ID. So now that you have the record ID, what you can do next is go to Airtable, you could uh, get a record and you would get the record uh, by that record ID, essentially grabbing all the information uh, in that row, uh, in, that, in that database. So then you can continue your automation and do other things with it. So that is the power of webhooks. Uh, it's a powerful tool to allow you to connect uh, internal applications in make.com and also external applications like Airtable.